so uh, today we would be uh, completing the rest of the room uh, let's see how much we are able to complete so the room that we are discussing last, last time was OS juice shop on try me so this would be the part 2 on regarding that particular room so last time we completed around 37 uh, percent this room I have already started this machine here as you can see I have already clicked on start machine that's why you are able to see the IP address of target website uh, and also I have connected my windows machine with the try hack me lab uh, using this access option so I have downloaded that configuration file and used open VPN to connect with this try hack me lab so that's why when I try to open this IP address in browser I am able to access this website if I am not connected to the labs uh, try hack me VPN I won't be able to access it so just make sure you are connected to the VPN before you try to access it okay so now, now let's move on to this task 4 the first part here is we are, we are supposed to brute force the administrator accounts password okay now we will be using uh, burp suit to perform this uh, simple task and I guess you guys already know what brute force is like uh, if we don't know the password of any user what we can do we can try to send a a list uh, like a number of passwords uh, and those passwords would be lo loaded from a file okay so we'll be trying different password for the same username so first of all uh, let's revise what was the administrator users uh, email address so if we go through this website of ours um, somewhere yeah this is the admin users email address that we already know but we don't know the password now um, there are plenty of password list actually out there um, the most famous ones are from Sacklist. So on Git, uh, if you search for Sacklist and you go open this first link, there are different passwords here. So within passwords, let's check for common credentials, and there is a list of like uh, top hundred, top thousand passwords, top ten thousand, top one uh, million like that what we would be using we would be using this one uh, best 1050 password okay so this one we would be trying so what it means that what we will do for the same email address that is uh, this uh, what is that uh, this admin at the juice sh.op we would be trying all these passwords okay now if we do it manually it's going to take a lot of time so that's why we are going to use our burp suit so let's use burp suit within burp suit we have discussed last time as well if you are supposed to automate something you are supposed to send a request again and again with some minor changes only we can use the intruder functionality so now we can see an actual use of it uh, so you can say it can be used for uh, brute forcing the login panels as well okay first of all what we are supposed to do we are supposed to capture that login request right otherwise we won't be able to brute force the password part like we won't be able to send different password in the password uh, parameter so for that let me open the burp suit browser only and I will try to capture that login request okay so now we will open this particular website in our burp suit browser that is this one okay here let's see if we access it we can see that different things are being loaded up regarding this particular website only we are not interested in uh, this one we are interested in the login request actually so let's see where is the login yeah so we have the login request here now what I will do I will I will turn on my intercept so that I can capture this request okay so intercept is turned on uh, I forgot the admin email address let me get it so the just a moment so the admin email address is admin just shop op and here there is one web socket request you can either drop it or forward it as well we will just forward it for the time being okay i will turn the intercept off so that all those requests just go away and again turn it on so that we are able to capture the latest request now in the password i am putting test okay i will show you as well i am putting test and i will click on login as soon as i login i can see that login request right to this particular endpoint this data is being sent now what we are supposed to do we are supposed to send this email address only but we are supposed to send different passwords okay so that whichever password is valid we will get a different response uh, corresponding to that particular request 
what I will do, I will right click here, I will send it to intruder. This request I can just forward. Uh, you see that this, when we forward that request, it says that email or password is not valid. That is fine. We don't need it. Uh, I will turn the intercept off. We have already sent that request to intruder. Now here is our intruder. We do not want to make all these parts dynamic. We only want to make this password part as dynamic. So I will clear everything right now. I will clear by clicking on this clear button. And we only want to make this part dynamic. Like we want to send different values in this part only. Because we have a list of passwords. So I will select this part and I will click add. Okay, now only this part will keep changing whenever we are sending different requests with different parts. Attack type would be uh, sniper only. Under the payloads it would be a simple list. But in the list actually what we are going to do, we are going to copy all those 1050 passwords and we will paste it here. So all these password is here. One thing you can try to copy like this or you can click on raw part. Press Control A. Right click copy. And now in our burp suit you can just paste. So you see that we have 1049 payloads. All these payloads are here. These are not actually payloads you can say. Uh, these are payloads but these will be sent in the in place of password. Okay, so all of these will be sent one by one in this place because it's a sniper attack. Only one thing will change and it will keep sending different passwords. Now just start our attack and let's see what we get. I will stop it for the time being. Okay, so see when we try the password 0, right, we get a 401. Okay, normally it means this status code means that it is unauthorized. Like this is not a valid uh, email address or password you can say. And uh, you see it in the response body as well that it's an invalid email or password. Okay, so let's continue this attack. Hopefully, we'll get our valid password. So wherever we see a different response or different length, we should be checking that part always. So we'll have to wait for some time so that it's, it gets completed. In. If we were using Burpshoot professional version, it would have been a lot quicker actually because it uses threading and uh, it, it would be using a different jobs or you can say a threading concept so it would be a lot faster but with the burp suit community version that is not the case actually so right now it's trying everything we are still getting 401 only we'll have to wait for some time and uh, then only we'll be able to find out what is the valid password from this particular uh, 1050 passwords okay I guess we should have found the password so far. Okay, see, uh, for 117 requests, we got a 200 status code. Also, the response length is 1159. Let's see what was the response. In the response, what we got, we got a token. This is uh, kind of the token. I guess it's a JWT. Uh, like, whenever you, you are logged in successfully, okay, uh, we have discussed in past that. Uh, the website will allocate us a cookie or a token so that that token can be used uh, with uh, subsequent requests like all the requests that we are going to send after the login we will be using that token so that the server knows the request is coming from that particular user okay so yeah this is the valid password the password is admin123 we can stop our attack now i will pause it i will close it i will discard it and let's uh, now go to our uh, website and uh, try to log in so one thing is uh, we have actually once we found that password right we uh, directly got it here that we have found the password okay so let's submit this flag we have to actually log in as well with admin account I guess just a moment I will duplicate this one so that I don't lose these flags let's uh, log in with administrator account uh, the email address was admin and the password was admin123 admin control yeah so once we log in yeah we, we don't see any any uh, hidden code here but I guess one of these should be the answer one of these let's try both of these here to complete this particular question 
yeah so the first one like uh, you found the administrator account credentials without using sql injection sql injections we tried uh, in the in the task before it like in the task 3 but now we found the password uh, manually uh, using bulb suit so yeah using brute force we, we found it and we use the intruder functionality of bulb suit so that that's one thing now there is one part of like kind of r and d uh, we have to search for the gym's password or reset the gym uh, user password so first of all let's find out what is the uh, what is the gym's email address let's try to find any of the comment by gym and I guess we, we saw it last time it was something related to Star Trek I guess so we'll have to do some R&D because if Jim is interested in Star Trek uh, TV show yeah see this replicator word was there and when we searched it on Google it, uh, this comment was from Jim actually when he searched it on, on Google we got to know it is from Star Trek right Star Trek movie now what we have to do we have to we try let's try to reset the password of this uh, gym user first of all let's log out uh, login forgot password it's not clicking for yeah so in the email address we will put uh, this gym user password Uh, the pa sorry my bad not password uh, the email security question is your eldest siblings middle name so let's try Jim okay that's the username and Jim is actually a character's name and uh, in Star Trek so if we try to search for it uh, let's open this Wikipedia page only here let's see if we have other details So here is the Jim's family from uh, this particular season and he's asking for the middle name of his brother right? so it should be Samuel actually. So here the thing is they, they like the basic protection that they have put is only the security question no OTP nothing and if you answer that correct you are able to reset the password correctly like uh, easily. So I will put the new password as 12345 12345 change it okay it is saying wrong answer to the security question okay let's see what was it asking it should be the right answer actually it is Samuel actually let's try to reset again S A M U E L S A okay new password is one two three four five six one two three four five six yeah see password got reset when we answered the question right so this is the flag that we got we'll just submit it here so that we can complete this part yeah now let's move on to the task 5 here uh, there is a bit of uh, interesting part here we are supposed to access a confidential document actually so when we went uh, through this whole website earlier we saw okay let me okay we are not logged in so when we went around this website we saw about us right in about us you have uh, this particular link here that check out our boring terms and conditions if you open it in a new page you can see that uh, legal information and terms and conditions are here okay but whenever you are seeing some document okay always pay attention to the URL now you see that uh, in on the URL it means this is the file name that we are accessing or we are seeing right now but before that there is a FTP folder okay now let's see if we are able to like if the site is misconfigured it may be allowing us to read the data of FTP folder directly okay without any restrictions so let's remove this file only and let's try to access it see we are able to see other files as well within the FTP folder okay so always try to check if we are able to read content of a folder directly now uh, it's asking us to access a confidential document so confidential document seems like this one only acquisitions.md let's access it so yeah this is a confidential document 
once we receive like we once we make a request to this particular endpoint okay we get uh, on our like OS per juice shop only we get the flag so we just copy it and we paste it here so the basic thing that we learn from this one is whenever you s just pay attention to the URLs always okay and try to access the directories uh, and see whether you are able to read the content from those files uh, those directories directly okay and whether we are able to access any confidential files or something like that okay so that's one part here now let's move on to the second part uh, it's asking for login into a max search account okay now we don't know who max search is first of all let's see whether we have the max search user email address here I will go through all these um, reviews here I know actually where it is let's list all the items here it should be yeah, here there was a comment okay, not here just a moment yeah see here is a comment from this particular user max search max search at the reduced sh op but we don't know who this user is right so before we uh, try to do it what we can do we can do a quick google about this particular user so max search right so this guy is a american rapper okay and okay i didn't put it right yeah this is american rapper only what we can do if we search for max search password okay if we go to videos part Oh, okay let's this rapper actually uh, sang uh, many songs so what we can do we can try to search for uh, any any of the songs from this guy okay so Mac just a moment on Google only I will search for Mac search password song yeah this is the song actually I'm not going to play it otherwise I will get a copyright strike from uh, uh, this this video specifically but what in in, uh, in this part uh, after I guess uh, 35 seconds it, it uh, this guy says that my like my password is uh, like some mr. noodles guy and I am not that dumb but I have replaced uh, O's with zeros okay so if you see what uh, like he's saying my password is like mr. Do noodles but uh, I have replaced the vowels with zeros so then what would be the password for that guy would be mr. n zero zero dulls okay so this is like kind of whenever you see uh, a lot of people what they do they they try to replace e with three actually they replace o with zero uh, they replace uh, what you say uh, s with five okay so like like these kind of things they try so you you can try uh, these kind of things when you're guessing password for any user okay so let's try to log in into this uh, account so login this is the email address password is mr so there is a space actually in between i will just keep it and as you can see we got logged in and we got the login password for this particular user and this is the flag that we are supposed to submit here now the final one in this one is uh, download the backup file so we, we found this uh, uh, just moment, let me close this we found this FTP directory that is listing all the files within this directory directly there is a backup file backup files uh, mostly end with dot backup or dot back okay now let's try to access this okay when I access it it is giving me an error that only dot md or dot pdf files are allowed okay now a basic bypass for these kind of restrictions is it is actually checking whether the URL contains dot md or dot pdf in the file name that we are accessing okay now suppose if I put dot md it is not going to give me that error that uh, this is you are not allowed to access it but the thing is there is no such file right that is ending like this dot back dot md okay now there is a basic bypass for these kind of things whenever there is a restriction based on the extensions what you can do you can put that extension at the end okay 
try to access it it's definitely going to say that it this file doesn't exist but before that extension what you can use percentage zero zero this is a null character okay uh, in in websites or uh, mostly what it does whatever comes after a null character okay that will be ignored okay so now if we put percentage zero zero what it means that it will it only means that we are trying to access the file name package.json.back okay it is going to ignore this part but at the same time we we satisfied the condition as well right that uh, there is a dot md in the file name so it is not going to give us that error that it was saying that the only dot md or dot pdf files allowed but we have uh, we are uh, the website is going to ignore this part because we have added a percentage zero zero before it okay now the thing is you are not supposed to use it like this you are supposed to in url whenever you are putting this uh, null character you are supposed to url encode okay this so what you can do url encoder you can search on google and from here what you put percentage zero zero encode it in url encoding okay so we are supposed to put percentage 2500 okay so let's put it here in place of so now we have put it now if you press enter you can see we downloaded one file and i can open it as well okay so a lot of data is there same thing i have done it with the md extensions i can do it with pdf as well right because it was saying that pdfs are also allowed but i am supposed to put 25 percentage 2500 before it this is also going to work okay it is it is downloading a kind of a pdf format but if you open it as a like uh, just a moment downloads show in the folder open with edit with notepad yeah see even though it's a pdf file but if you open it in notepad you would be able to see the content so because dot pdf and dot md was allowed uh, but if you directly put it it is going to say that that file is not found but if you use the null character in that case it is going to allow you to download so that's a basic bypass whenever you want to do it you can try it it may work it may not work it depends on the website okay so let's uh, we have downloaded it let's move on to our os website you can see that we have downloaded this uh, uh, backup file so we'll copy this particular flag from here and let's try to submit and see if it completes so yeah so it completed this part as well so today we completed these task 4 and task 5 that's all for today uh, tomorrow most probably we'll be uh, going through the rest of the part task 6 and task 7 thanks